And that's the quickest way to electrocute you. I also didn't really want to vacuum this up. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Maven, and this is Minnie. Today I'm gonna to do something different where I do like a commentary video, which I haven't done before. So we're gonna see if I crash and burn. And I first learned about five minute crafts like a while ago, but like a couple months ago I saw these three pictures to where each process took a day and I couldn't understand why they would think it belonged in the five minute crafts area. <laughs> I watched like five videos and I was just baffled by how stupid, expensive, and unnecessary most of the crafts were. You pay money but it's still gonna look cheap. And the thumbnails are very clickbait. This one that looks like it's being obliterated by a can of Gillette. And this girl that looks like she's making a braid beard. And then the other one is showing how kids can be dishonest. Well, the first one I came across, this like confetti cannon you make with toilet paper and I was going to do it, but I already had a full roll of toilet paper going on and I was not about to be wasteful. <laughs> but imagine like going to a birthday party holding your confetti thing and it might tip out and there <laughs> goes your little like thing when you could just buy like one of these things at like the Dollar Tree and it has like 30 of them in it. I also didn't really want to vacuum this up. And then there's the balloon one where if you don't have a lid you could just use a balloon. Who just loses the lid to your mason jar? For anybody I know that owns a mason jar they own like 30. They have other lids. Okay you have a glass cup that's flying everywhere apparently because you don't know how to handle dishware. So you put this balloon on the bottom. Yay! It doesn't slide. But boo! It looks real stupid. And this one, a lot of work. Cute idea for anybody who has the time, but like how did they get the watch into the balloon without absolutely struggling? Because I can't even tie a balloon, let alone shove something in there. And then they have to pop it Confetti gets everywhere. Or on the opposite side, you could prank somebody by putting vinegar and Sprite into it, making them think it's their birthday present. Surprise, I don't respect your birthday. This one I was not going to attempt where you put a candle and you light your hair on fire. The target audience to this should not be playing with fire and trying to remove their own split ends. Like I've seen professionals do that and still freaks me out would not allow anybody to put flame anywhere near these locks. As a child, I would pluck like one hair out at a time and play with it in fire. And if you've ever done that, you know exactly how horrible that smell is. And I've actually tried this one. You put like beer in your hair because I heard that helps it like make all smooth and soft. And egg. So I guess if you put it together, extra soft. After you pour beer and egg in your hair, guess what? It's gonna smell like beer and egg. <laughs> so nobody's gonna get close enough to feel your soft, silky locks because they're gonna be staying far away from the ego beer smelly person. I'll give them credit. It took me under five minutes, so check. But I look stupid as hell and I could not cut them as small as they got these because it kept sticking to my scissors. I don't know who this look is for, like high fashion, maybe, but you won't see me like running to Walmart with like tiger stripes on my eyelids. I wouldn't recommend putting lip balm, which has touched your mouth and bacteria, onto your eyelids. Because if you're just going to go buy lip balm to try this, you should just buy like cheap eye primer and that stuff doesn't dry down. So yay you have glitter on your lids but it's also sticking to the top of your lids. And I mentioned how I feel like this is these are like expensive yet cheap looking. Point A this takes like 12 pop cans or something and if you buy all of them at like the dollar store or in like six packs or whatever maybe you're spending like 30 bucks plus you have to buy the fabric for this, the cardboard, and you already need to own a nail gun. And then your end product kind of looks like shit when you could just buy this for 14 bucks at Target or probably something cheaper at Walmart, but you also have storage in it. I just don't know who these hacks are for. For the audience I think is looking at these and thinking, oh, let's go do it, should not be holding a nail gun either. <laughs> and all these hacks have in common is 
I'm gonna have to spend money on this. I'm like 99% sure you probably shouldn't put sanitizer on your hair or washing your makeup brushes with it because that will strip away the glue and probably your scalp. Like it's bad advice. I tried this tea hack. It's dumb, it's useless. I mean, if you're the type of person who has trouble keeping those little things out, just hold it while you pour. I don't get how this is five, like a five minute hack. Is the part that they're counting just putting the rubber band on? Cause it took me five minutes and 32 seconds to like boil water in my disgusting ass pot. And this one, I don't understand who the hack is for. Why do you need to keep your door from not shutting all the way? Like, do you want people to break into your apartment? Why does your underwear need to be organized in a tissue box type arrangement? People are gonna pull that out and try to blow their nose with it. Why are you storing your underwear like this? Like if you're trying to disguise it because people keep stealing your underwear, why are you letting those people into your life anyway? Expensive but cheap looking thing is a storage container. Yes, now you things are stored, but it looks like shit. And this hack I could have come up with. They're just putting bins in other bins. And this one I found for like 14 bucks on Amazon, the little pockets curtain thing. I, and I would prefer that because I would know that it was made like that. If I'm just doing it, buy, let's say from like the dollar store, two curtains and you use one to cut out and make the little pocket. I don't feel com like confident that I secured it on there properly. And this part of the curtain is the one that goes into the shower. If it f your phone falls out, it's gonna go directly into the tub. And that's the quickest way to electrocute you or ruin your phone. Why do you need to FaceTime somebody while you're taking your shower? Can you not wait? This one where the iPad is like wrapped with saran wrap and then put the little like hooks on, that adhesive's gonna get wet, going to fall off, and now your iPad's ruined. I tried these. Probably the most successful out of all of the hacks, but I've seen this before. I tried it and I didn't think it was gonna work because the, the lid that I have is a little wonky and like old, but when I closed it, it actually stayed on. So I was quite impressed with this one and only this one out of everything. I and mean, I've seen this before on other, like it's not like new and inventive and like mind blowing. I just happened to try it out today. Why is this channel encouraging people to cheat? It's not even like an amazing cheat either. It's up your sleeve and someone could easily see you sticking that back in there, but it's pretty freaking obvious. I tried this gum crayon hack where it just uses wax as like a crayon and it just dripped out the bottom. I don't know if they did not mention that they safety sealed the bottom. Also took me five minutes and 15 seconds <laughs> to fail at this. And other things it's like unnecessary is this Tic Tac box with tape in it when all tape you buy already comes with its own little holder. Like why is it necessary to then buy tape and a Tic Tac, melt it through to get this ugly ass tape dispenser. And the caption is to save your money. Or this one where now I have to buy matches and a sharpener, which at the dollar store I saw this one where it holds all of the shredding anyway for the same price as the one without. And I, tr I wanted to do this egg thing so bad because I wanted to see if it actually worked but because it's not Easter, I couldn't find any plastic eggs, so an SOL. This one I found at Walmart, 98 cents for a cold pack. When, if I go to like the dollar store, a dollar for dish soap and a dollar for the bags. Granted, I didn't have any of these items. So if you don't have all this stuff on hand, why is it, it's gonna be cheaper just to buy the thing that was made for it instead of just creating something of your own. And this one, I'm pretty sure you're going to be like cooking your phone. It's going to get hotter inside the bag. Great, now you fried your phone. But at least it's not sandy. And this one, I wish they would have had the video play just a little bit longer because I swear it's about to fall and it doesn't even work. But sure. So yeah, I get pretty heated. <laughs> so if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. You know the gist. And uh, I do more weird shit. So I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.